Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here, and I am here to do another RG discussion video, this time discussing about June Suzuki and just her role in the story and just anything about her in general really. Because I have made an Aji and Demi Human character discussion topic video on June Suzuki in the past, but I deleted it because it wasn't that good at all. I mean, I looked back on it and uh, yeah, I had some problems with it. It wasn't really, it didn't really belong in the in that playlist at all, so I just yeah, deleted it. It's gone forever, so I'm going to be making another June Suzuki video for the Aji discussion playlist, not for the Aji and Demi Human character discussion topic one. Yeah, I don't think June is worthy to be on that playlist, so I'm just gonna put her in the Ajin discussion the playlist. Yeah, I think she'll fit better in there. Maybe if she returns in the story, maybe like once we know, once we get to know more about her character, because she, she only appears in just one chapter here in chapter 46, and, and that's it of the Ajin Demi Human manga. Yeah, she doesn't appear anywhere else besides chapter 46. So yeah, hopefully we get to see her again. Then I can like, analyze her character a little bit more. So yeah, yeah, that'll be pretty interesting. But yeah, Jun Suzuki, she was born in Japan somewhere. We don't know exactly where exactly she was born, but yeah, she was born in Japan. She is currently like 32 years old. And uh, you see, 10 years ago, like when she was at yeah, 32 years old, 10 years ago, I believe she was like 22 here while she was still in Japan. Like, yeah, in age 22, that's when she first died in Japan while she was, I guess, going to some store, I believe. And then, yeah, I believe she was going to work. Yeah, either work or the store just to get some food or whatever. Yeah, she was walking past this alleyway. I think it was street. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, she was attacked by a bunch of, like, some street thugs or whatever. And she got into some sort of street fight and she died along with some two other thugs as well. And, yeah, that's how she ended up being discovered to be, like, the first publicly discovered Aji in Japan. Yeah, she had the 001 on her. Tanaka had the 002, and then Kei Nagai had the 003. So yeah, Jun Suzuki, she was the first publicly discovered Ajin in Japan. However, Japan, they couldn't, yeah, they weren't able to keep her because, you see, America, they didn't have any, well, female Asian Ajins within their stock. So once they heard about the Jun Suzuki, they took her and just added to the Americans, like, you know, demi-human stock. So now they have her there. She is currently within the Maryland USA American Research Facility. I think the facility is called the Withheld Facility or something like that. Yeah, that's where June Suzuki resides in currently. Yeah, she actually lives there in some floor above the facility or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. She is not allowed to drive there to work because she has to live there. She is a demi-human. She has to be constantly like washed over. I mean, she is still allowed to work. I mean, she is a really happy person overall. She's really you know, cheerful. She is really friendly to to her friends. Like obviously, me, we see her like just you know socializing with Ikuya Ogura, the you know the African American doctor. Uh, I think his name was a um, Doctor Smith or something. And uh, we also see him. We we also see Jim here. Yeah, Jim is another demi human who maybe I'll make another Aji discussion video on him about Jim, the the demi human. But see, we don't know much about Jim, so that's kind of a problem. That might be, yeah, that might be a little bit like tough to make a video on him. But uh, I'll try my best. It might be a short video, but I'll probably just get something out of him there with that. But hopefully, we'll get to see more of Jim later on in the manga. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every single demi human. Like, if you are revealed to be a demi human, you are obviously a big deal, and you should be like, you should be talked about most definitely. Same thing, especially with Jun Suzuki. She, she, she is like the first publicly discovered Aji in Japan. Yeah, that is kind of a big deal in of itself. Absolutely. So, yes, and uh, and Jun, you see, she just works here. She went up to Ikuya Ogura while Ikuya was talking to like you know Doctor Smith, the African American doctor who was analyzing uh, Yusuke's body. You know, Yusuke, he was like Shinya Nakamura's like childhood friend who you know sacrificed himself to save Shinya. However, the sacrifice was for naught because you see Yusuke, he almost got himself killed. However, Shinya, since he is really close to Yusuke, and once he saw Shinya, well, sorry, once he saw Yusuke die, of course Yusuke. So yeah, once he saw Yusuke die, and then Shina then died at the same time because he was shot by the by the anti yeah sorry by the Ajin committee guys yeah he shot Shina Shina then he was set back and then the flood phenomenon occurred which also resulted in this threshold phenomenon which brought she, yeah, which brought Yusuke back to life so that's what happened there with that 
And Yusuke was then saved and then brought here to Maryland, USA, where Shinya is just just like somewhere else, I believe, in Japan. Yeah, yeah, Shinya is most likely still in Japan. However, I mean, it's funny we got we got like an update on where Yusuke is in Chapter Forty Six, but we still don't know where Shinya Nakamura is. So yeah, Shinya is kind of unconfirmed right now at the you know at this very moment. So. Hopefully we get to see Shinya as well later on in the manga. I mean, yeah, because we we can't just end the manga without seeing like Shinya again. I mean, that's not gonna happen. There's no way. There's too much like left untold, by, by like um you know from the manga. So yeah, we need more answers here. And uh, let's see uh, anything else. Yeah, of course Yusuke is there. Like I just said, he they were analyzing his body. And yeah, and once that happens, EPS showed up, and then June showed up after that, and was giving this like some sort of like paperwork to. You know, to Ikuya Ogura because Ikuya he forgot to sign his name on all these paperwork and June was just trying to help him out just like yeah you need to sign your name on all these so of course she was all more friendly about it and how I was just like so yeah yeah you need to sign all these yeah she was all more friendly about that like a really cheerful person of course and also she's not very old she is pretty much still young I mean she's still 32 yeah that's young right I'm pretty sure yeah middle age is like in your like I guess 40s or whatever or something like that uh, yeah she is she is still pretty young however Ikuya is older definitely he's definitely probably in his middle age I don't think he's young at all and same thing with Jim the other demi human we saw smoking cigarettes and uh, yeah he's probably middle age as well or maybe same age or younger than June Suzuki. I mean, I was kind of surprised that June was like 32. She looked a lot younger than just 32. I thought she was maybe in her like maybe 20s, somewhere around there, like, like 25 maybe. Yeah, so she's 32, so that's interesting. Well, I mean, yeah, she I mean, she stated that she was 22 when she died first in Japan, and then that yeah, was shipped off to Maryland, the USA. Of course, like, yeah, we all know that stuff already. Let's see anything else about Jun Suzuki. I mean, yeah, like I just said, she only appeared in chapter 46, so all we could talk about with her is just in here in this chapter. So, yes, uh, we also get some reveal from Jun that uh, she is really fluent in English as well. She's really fluent. She stated that she wanted to, I guess, live overseas somewhere, and uh, also. Yeah, I guess like she wants to live overseas and maybe she wants to do some work or like some But I mean the thing is like she can't really do that That's probably, that's probably like some sort of dream maybe she had in the past before she became a demi-human Which must have happened like before she was like 22 years old And kept this dream for like the longest time like after that so but Yeah, because like live overseas she can't do that because she's a demi-human She has to stay within the withheld facility in Maryland, USA She has to stay there, confined there and uh, yeah see Human rights, it, it is up for debate. It was stated in this chapter, chapter 46, that it was up, it was up for debate that uh, if human rights should, should like, you know, comply to demi-humans. But, uh, see, the thing is, um, some people think they shouldn't because demi-humans, like, they are not human since they can come back to life under any, like, circumstances. It doesn't matter what, how, how they die, they still will come back to life. Humans die, demi-humans do die, but then they come back, they reset. So, yeah, it, it's not like you know they should like you know human rights should comply to them that, that's not really what needs to be done there but uh i believe that yeah that mean humans they should be given human rights they do have have the same rights as human beings because they do have feelings just the same as human beings do just because they're they are very 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 different obviously but uh yeah it's not really fair to them that's what i'm trying to get across here not fair to june suzuki however it seems that she's treated pretty fairly here she's not like miserable or, or anything really it's even stated that like uh, they could even go and see, see like some sort of movie because June stated that like, hey Jim, do you want to go see like a movie or something with me after? I forgot what the movie was called, but it was just some movie. And Jim said, nah, I'm just I'm gonna go take a dump and then you know get some sleep or whatever. Yeah, then of course Jim just left the scenes and then uh, that, that was kind of the last time we saw him for the most part. He just went to take a dump then. I guess get some shut eyes after that. And uh, June, I suppose, went back to work afterwards and. Uh, yeah, she also stated that she likes to read books too. And uh, right before she left to go to work, and she got killed by those those two thugs I just mentioned like, be, like before in the video. Yeah, she was reading this book. She said like she wanted to wait for like to wait I guess like the, um, the next day to read like the last of these forty pages of this book because she thought it was like really good. She didn't want to like spoil herself too like you know too quickly, so she just left the forty pages afterwards. And I guess she did manage to read them eventually. However, yeah, she got. Uh, she got killed and uh 
I suppose yeah, that's that's when she went home and read the the rest of the forty pages. But then she was found out afterwards of what happened. Same thing with Tanaka. Like, yeah, they found out that like he is a demi human, and they tried to go after him and tried to I guess suppose yeah look for him, and then he got captured and sentenced to I guess torture for like the rest of the ten years that Tanaka was under. Same thing kind of happened with Jun Suzuki. However, Jun was a lot more fortunate because she was just sent to America, like you know, t uh, ten years ago, prior to her being thirty-two in chapter forty-six. Yeah, that's what happened there. She was treated a lot better here in America, c clearly, than compared to Tanaka in Japan for the la for his like you know last ten years that he was there. So, yeah, Tanaka was what Tanaka went through was really really brutal, definitely. And I guess not so much with June, so yeah, she was pretty lucky there with that. Uh, let's see, anything else about June Suzuki? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the most part. I don't want to like you know, prolong this video for uh, much longer than I really need to. So yeah, I mean, just comment down in the comment section below if anything you want to say, any questions you want to ask about June Suzuki, anything at all. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and bye.